Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on X Twiley, Lottie and Lottie London's Living the Best Life. Sorry, that's upside down. Yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't read that. So this is what it looks I've like. I've also got the diamond dips. One in the Aggies, which is like a pinky kind of colour. And one in So Instagrammable which is like a gold. All along with the diamond dips and her palette, I've also got her lip shades. I have used one already. I have used Ravenous. You also get Extra AF, which is more like a, I would say Malia Mambo red, and this is like a blue red. And then you've got also Spill the Tea, which is a new, they're all the, what are they? They're the glitter swatch, that's it. Glitter swatch from X Twi um from Lottie London. They Lottie London also does their own glitter swatches. I've got a little pack somewhere of them, so I might bring them out to show you the colours. But I've used one of them before. I won't be using the colour I've been used ravenous, so I'll be using this one for definite today. But I've also got those. Okay. So let's get started. I'm gonna use Core. I normally use Urban Decay, but I'm gonna use Core um, Makeup Revolution Pro um, Eye Element Eye Primer. I'm just gonna get any flat brush. I've got an angled one because, as you can see, I've got a pile of brushes that need to be washed there. And I'm just being lazy. I think I'm gonna do one at a time because this dries down very quickly, so. Uh, uh, you can see it. this is what the issue I have. I keep finding it's patchy. Otherwise, I've got a sh old batch, but I find it very patchy. But I'm going to do one eye at a time and see how I feel regarding what I come with. First and foremost, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into literally just to set all of this. There is a lot of kickback. I don't think you can see it, but there's a lot of kickback with this palette sadly but as long as it's pigmented no one really cares so next i'm gonna take a combination between chikatarian and porky oh my god so chikatarian and porky sorry my light is really off today into my outer lid. I'm using a very fluffy brush because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna clean it up in a bit with my foundation and concealer. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Hey Guys, just to darken that corner a little bit. Just gonna use a little dense kind of shader brush I might add a damp of no tea no shade like that black is jet black so you need to be careful like I'm literally not even damping in just to make that a little bit darker so I'm just going to take a, any angled kind of fluffy brush just to blend that out into my crease a little bit. Because spring is literally around the corner, I feel to use Shook, like that proper teal green. Yeah. I don't know if I should cut crease my eyelid. Nah, I'm not gonna go through with that. So I'm just literally taking a so eco small eye shading brush, picking a little bit up, and just gonna pack that on. Wow, well, as you can see. Okay, maybe if I wet it, get in my Max Prep and Prime Fixing Spray. Oops. 
Just gonna wet the brush a little bit and dip back in and try again. That's better. Oh, that's a lot better. So I think I'm gonna take a touch of YOLO. Just for the edge. Yolo seems to be going on a little bit better. Then shook. So. That is kind of nice. Just gonna go back in with some shock. Just to marry those two colors together. So, as you can see, I've just got a little bit of YOLO next to Shook, which are these two greens. And I've just blended the corner in a little bit more and just defined my crease a little bit better. As you can see, there is a little bit of fallout, but I feel to do like a pop of blue underneath there. So I'm gonna do that. Off Amazon, I only became in a set. Eye pencils, I think it go well. I'm just gonna do my waterline and my lash line. I'm just going to use this little brush to use with Rebel for Life, I think that says, that blue, and run that along there. It's just a very small little smudger. And just run it as close to my lash line as possible. So I'm actually liking the way this eye has turned out, so I'm going to finish this eye off camera and then come back to do eyeliner and possibly lashes possibly lashes haven't decided yet possibly lashes so as you can see both eyes are done as similar as possible okay so i'm just gonna give you a close-up hi um so i did my face off camera contoured it blunt bronzed it blushed it highlighted it i started doing one eye with eyeliner and then remembered i need to film it <laughs> so i'm using the lottie london eyeliner because i'm using lottie london's x twilies palette i thought might as well use the eyeliner i am not happy with these eyeliners like the the nib part black jet black inky but like i've put fixing spray on it it just about stamps and then when i bought i bought the star one and i bought the moon one and i don't know where the moon one's gone so this is the star one but again i put fixing spray on that so i was even lucky that came up but they look like little flowers not stars like ugh. but even this i started using this one because the nibs thinner and it started running out and feeling a bit funny so i've gone and started using ooh, this one so i'm just gonna do my eyeliner quickly and then come back to you so i've tied like i've done my top waterline so i'm gonna put some mascara on i wanted to put falsies on and <laughs> i even not watched x twy lee's 101 on how to put eyelashes on couldn't figure it out just too it was like too many fingers it was like <laughs> so i'm just gonna use bad girl mascot um bang McPeh. Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit because I feel they give me the full C's I kind of want for this look today so I'm just going to do that so I've, these are the lip colours so you've got Extra AF Ravenous and oh, I can never really remember this one Spilled the Tea and I feel this look 
could not do a red it needs a nude i have as i said before i've used ravenous before i like the color i just didn't like any of how can i pull it it was over my fingers it was over my lips it was over my teeth it was on what i was eating it didn't stay so let's hope maybe this has a different experience because it's a lighter color but i'm going to line my lips with a brown quickly These are the other um, glitter swatches that I got from Lottie London. I've not tried them, I've kind of swatched them and given them a bit of a like tap against my finger. Um, yeah, as I said, oh god, I haven't swatched them or anything. So, well, I've swatched them, but I haven't worn them mainly because I really wanted to try X Twilies one first, and then I was like, I want to try the others and it was very difficult to get off I'm going to try this one okay so I know it says read me I read one of them already I don't need to read all of them because I doubt they will be any different you just need to let it dry before you start going num, 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 with your lips this is meant to be stain proof rub proof like wearable mm, I like your next time it's all right sometimes it's the formula Sometimes it's the shade, so this might be different because of the shade. I get off. Ooh, look at that little day It smells like watermelon. She has got a thing for watermelon, so let's give this a go. Ooh, I swatched. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it to dry. I don't think you see what I see. It looks really good on camera. <coughs> Sorry, you don't see what I see. It looks really good on camera. It looks like a coral peach on me. Like a really nice kind of pastel pink in person. It just looks patchy as hell, but maybe when it dries, I can manipulate it. So let's just wait and see for it to dry. While we're waiting it for it to dry, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and not press my lips together. I'm gonna just do my inner corner of my eyes, which I forgot. So I'm gonna take one million from when she hit one million, lucky lady. I'm literally just finding any small brush and it's the most tiniest brush ever. And I'm just gonna get it and just pop it. Into my inner corner. And you can't forget about that. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've done a look like this already. I think I might have done an Instagram video, but not a YouTube video, and that was using a different palette. So, my lips feel very dry, not because of the formula, but I mean that dry is in the, li like the lipstick is dry. But what I want to do, I, I never actually dipped into these at all. I've tried these both before over the Christmas period and like they're amaze balls. But they do flake. Once they dry, they flake. Like I don't want to open it so much so it doesn't dry it. But that's the um Yes. And this one is so Instagrammable. <laughs> yes, I'm so Instagrammable. Yeah, like how Oh wow, I feel this one has dried out already. 
Well, it hasn't. Ah, stuff it. Just gonna put a little bit. It is really good though. I just wish it didn't flake off after a while. That's why I'm actually all right putting it on. But I feel if you don't have anything underneath it, it will stay. Or if it's like one eyeshadow, but I feel with more than one, it just doesn't want to stay. Yeah. Wow, I made it pop. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, mine might be... No, I'm wrong. I don't think it has dried up. I just think it looks a bit sunken. So I'm just going to pop that back on. Screw it up on. But so they're them. They're really good. I like them. So now with the lips... You can probably just about see it, but there's some gold reflex, but can you see that? It's like that's from me just pressing it once. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so sorry, X Twilly, I had to take that off. It was very dry. I like the concept, but no, um, I thought it was just a red, it isn't just a red. I like everything else you do. So on that note, Miss X Twilly with your palette, living the best life. I like it. It's all right. It's very pigmented, like the, I've used this cranberry shade before me open the palette. Like, it is very pigmented the palette all over but this shade it's like butter in your hands Whoa. like you can see i've dented it and i was just like Try. oh what a saber tooth what is Sorry. it Sorry. so as i as i was saying um like it's like butter i dented it and i was able to like smush it back into place but it's such a beautiful color and I've used all, for instance, these shimmers already. So that's why I kind of wanted to use the blue and the greens because the transition colours are the transition colours. But these three, they're amazing. I used them over Christmas. They're very, very lovely. So, like, everything in here is very pigmented. It is a very good palette. I think it was, like, £7.95, not even £8, not even a tenner. It is good quality look it's like it is perfect perfect to put in your bag like i created this look and i weren't even going out to create this look and it's a perfect look to kind of go out if you're on holiday if you're out clubbing like i love the diamond dips the diamond dips are amazing oh. so i have to take this off yeah so the diamond dips they're oh i can't think on it they're amazing. I do feel like tw when X Twilly was talking about hers, she had these like little plastic caps that came with it. So I feel like a bit cheated that we only got a foil cap. I feel, I can't remember how much these were I bought them ages ago, but if you're gonna spend that much money, I know I actually think it was three for two, so it's all right. But I just think if you're gonna sell this product, do go that little bit extra to do that little plastic cap that you had on yours when you were on your YouTube channel and talking about them. So, but yeah, these are amazing. I do want to use this one because I've used this one quite a bit. So I want to give this one a go and try something with that. So I will be doing that. Next on to the lipsticks. They're great colors. Like they're lovely. Like you. But they are nice colours. 
but I just don't the lip swatch thing like when it just takes the layers off like it's so it's not even sticky that's the thing it dries down so well but that initial blot just removes the product and then you can't really keep layering on because it comes but even taking it off it was like bits of balls coming like bitty so like if anything because i haven't opened this one it might get regifted i've opened these two but i don't know it might be one of those things that get reused at halloween or something i don't know but they weren't worth the money that i spent on them sorry there's red dead redemption playing in the back because my partner's sitting over there playing it while i'm doing this video so sorry if you're like focusing on the back i can't help it my room's small and i don't have room for a screen or anything so but yeah i like the palette like here's the look I hope you liked my review on X Twiley and all her little lovely bits that she produced. You are living the best life, my darling. Well done to you. You're doing well. I started following you maybe a year and a half ago and you got me into doing this. So thank you. Thank you very much. As soon as I saw this in my local super drug, I literally snapped it up because I wanted to support someone that inspired me to do this like to do my own video um youtube videos so thank you i hope you like my video thumbs up if you did subscribe if you like comment please yeah and i hope you like this look bye